Well, today has been a good day so far. I woke up after a bad night's sleep due to all the wind outside the house. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I woke up this morning and it was nowhere near as windy. So I was like, yes, lunchtime photo ride. Uh, what else has happened? Oh, yeah. So I mentioned in my mum tour video the other week about uh, how I was excited for my uh, pending delivery and yeah that delivery came and I very quickly went from excitement to disappointment basically I've got a Sigma 120 to 300 mil f 2.8 lens that I uh, used to use for football photography uh, great for like nature photography as well, you know, 300mm, uh, 2.8 all the way through as well, which is great for low light. Anyway, uh, a few years ago my old car got stolen and in the boot, along with 12 grand's worth of camera gear that I'd accrued over about 10 years, was uh, my monopod and the tripod collar for, uh, for the 120 to 300mm lens. Now the lens itself was inside the house, so I've still got the lens, but I can't attach it to anything. Well, I mean I can attach it to my 6D, uh, but I can't then mount it on a tripod or anything, so I have to shoot handheld. So I very, very, very rarely take it anywhere. And uh, yeah, I've been looking online at um, tripod colours to try and find one that fits. I thought I'd found one, ordered it, it was massive. Uh, and then I found out, uh, well, when I went to, to try and return it, I saw that he was, uh, the guy wasn't taking returns. And he needs a scarecrow. Uh, yeah, no refunds accepted, so uh, 40 quid down the drain. Then ordered another one, and that one was too big as well. That, this one even had a different model number. But again, it was too big. Uh, they offered me one pound partial refund in order for me keeping hold of the item until someone in my country orders it. Right. After laughing that off, I decided to just contact Sigma directly. So I emailed them this morning and just 37 minutes later I got an email back from, a, if a memory serves, Chris Bibby. Absolute legend mate. They've, uh, yeah, very politely inform me that my lens is old as fuck and so uh, obviously they don't have they don't have the replacement parts anymore but he said they've got uh, they've got a second hand one or they've got a used one uh, that I can buy for 20 pounds plus 375 postage and packing uh, yes please that's like half of what I've been paying and I've had two already that don't fit um, yeah, I should have just gone straight to Sigma from the start, to be honest, but you live and learn, don't you? Thought I'd get it cheaper on eBay. So, yes, that brings us to lunchtime, and I'm currently heading into Holmes Chapel uh, and out the other side to go to Twemlow Viaduct. In fact, I'm going to turn right here. So yeah, Twemlo Viaduct, which is uh, a grade two... Oh, some shoddy tarmac there. Uh, it's a grade two listed building, uh, built in 1841. Consists of 23 arches that are... Oh no, what was it? 23 arches that are, was it 18 metres wide? And uh, what was the other one? Ah oh, yes, and it takes the, takes the train line towards Manchester uh, 34 metres above the River Dean. There we go, there's your little lesson on where we're going. Oh, we're not too far from it. I'm gonna, there's, uh, there's sort of like a little parking area. What's going on here? You going all the way around or not? No, cool. Lovely 
faster. Yeah, so I'm parking up, walking down, and uh, this time going into the field. <laughs> Didn't go in the field last time. There we go. So I'm going to park up round here. As you can see, it's a lovely day. So, yeah, heading down the road, the wind isn't too bad actually at the moment. It got a little windy on the way there, but nothing too bad. Long shadows. <coughs> yeah, so the, uh, the shadows should help improve the image as well but I don't think oh. Oh. yeah I won't be launching the drone today no aerial footage there's a lovely walk along here that I'd quite like to go on but obviously being on my lunch break I don't have the time I've got to come in here I've got three or four shots to take a little bit of b-roll to shoot I'll leg it there it is. Start of the viaduct. It's massive, isn't it? Look at the size of it. So last time when I came with my brother, we went and stood like just on the side there. Just stood in there. However, down here on the other side of the river, there's an actual style to get over. What's your style? And I'll be able to get a better shot, I think. <laughs> Unless, as it looks like it might be, the uh, field is like water like the river. Right. Yeah, ah, there it is. Hundred frames a second. Yes. Let's take that shot. Yeah. The ground is a bit wet and not ideal, but tough shit. Right. Helmet down. Right. So I think quite a wide angle for this. Uh, I've got the 24 to 105 on there. Sorry, I'm holding the, uh, the action camera in the same bloody hand. So with this one, I'm gonna go for, if I can get an angle where it's, where you can actually read it. So going on aperture priority, stop it down to about eight. Well, let's try actually. They say, they say from two stops up is where you start. We can take the ISO down. We don't need that up. 
I uh, do need to focus. And frame. <laughs> so. How's that look? Not ideal, not exactly straight, but it will do. All right, so for this one, I want that to look quite straight. Like, Okay, so there's that's my framing that I've gone for. If you can kind of make it out, let's just check the focus. And it should now also be on, um, so, oh, why's it gone to 11? Oh, because I'm on video mode to sort the focus. Such an idiot at times. So we're on F4.5. ISO's down at 100 because it's quite bright. So I've got a UV filter on. Uh, we've got a self timer on. And let's see, did that actually produce a better image than I've been getting? No, the branches look blurry. This is so bizarre, this, this keeps happening and I don't understand why. Right. We stick it on there, right? We zoom in, we zoom 10 times zoom. Right, they are in focus, sharp, sharp focus, okay? Flick it back, take the shot. Play to chimp. Uh, let's zoom in. Doesn't quite look as. F uh, I don't know. Looks better there, I suppose. Let's have a look at some brickwork. This is actually all alright. Yeah, not too bad. Not great. We're at 24 mil for that one. Do we want one zoomed in at all? Maybe one. See, these other trees, these all look a bit shit. Maybe one on the other side. So if we go over here, go over this way. Oh, it's getting boggier and boggier. some big lumps. See how bad it looks from this angle of it on the left. We've got the light going across. It just doesn't look as good. I think that's our shot. And it was. I ended up doing three edits of the same shot. One here with the blues quite saturated. Um, some of the red and orange as well to highlight the brickwork. This one with more muted colours. Um, but I have kept the reds and the oranges quite saturated there. Quite high contrast as well to bring out the shadows. And then this one, which was a bit brighter, brought out some of the grass as well. Which edit do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. All helps with the algorithm. Till next time, cheers.